with all the artifacts of Mars, and Debbie Blabbermouth Schwartz, as Rush Limbaugh calls her, is resigning at the end of the, uh, after the Democratic National Committee's convention there in Philadelphia is over with. And what they're, uh, and the reason is that she is in all sorts of trouble. She and the DNC, they're being sued by Bernie supporters. They're being sued for basically unlawful convention, uh, unlawful primary rigging, and they're being sued for just all sorts of stuff. They aren't in deep trouble. Uh, the email scandal and everything, so she's had enough. She's on her way out. She'll find some, they'll find some other sucker to put in there. Now, I'll show you something, just a couple of sites. This uh, Facebook site, they're being sued for fraud and, like I said, rigging the primaries. This whole email thing is not going away. Hillary got away with hers, but I don't know if the DNC is going to get away with theirs. Because for one thing, these are civil suits that we're talking about, not criminal. And that's a lot easier to do. So... Debbie Wasserman Schultz served class action lawsuit for rigging primaries. These are the burning people. This is the first of many consequences for DNC will face for manipulating millions of voters. Like I said, this is not going away. On June 28th, Miami-based law firm Beck and Lee filed a class action lawsuit against DNC for and DNC chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz. They, they, there are essentially six legal claims that we are now asserting in this lawsuit on behalf of composed class members. So the attorney, Jared Beck, in a YouTube video announcing the lawsuit. First is a claim for fraud against the DNC and Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Based on revelations from the recent Gooseford 2.0 documents, purportedly taken from the DNC's own computer network. The Gooseford documents include internal memos in which the DNC broke legally binding neutrality agreements in the Democratic primaries by strategizing make Hillary Clinton nominee for a single vote was cast. Well, we told you this you know, right from the start, they were going to choose, once I saw Hillary is there, we all knew that she was going to be chosen. Second claim is filed for negligent misrepresentation, a legal theory based on first claim of fraud. Third alleges... Now this went nuts on me. Third claim alleges DNC and Wasserman Schultz participated in deceptive conduct in claiming DNC was neutral during Democratic primaries where there when there's overwhelming evidence suggesting favoritism Clinton from the beginning. Fourth claim of the lawsuit seeks Retribution of any monetary donations to the Sanders campaign. Fifth, alleges DNC broke its fiduciary duties during Democratic parties, members of the Democratic Party during Democratic primaries by not holding a fair election process. Sixth, claim for negligence on behalf of the DNC for not protecting donor, donor information. As hackers broke into the DNC networks, potentially compromising their personal information. So they're in a world of trouble, basically. And Schultz 
Sad enough, she's on her way out. If we all find some other idiot takes blame, I'm sure. Did I just call her an idiot? Well, she is an idiot. Well, there you have it. Debbie Wasserman Schultz is on her way out amid all sorts of scandals. She's in heap big trouble, as the Indians used to say. So is the DNC. It's going to be real uh, interesting, kind of fun listening to Hillary screech about all this. Screech, 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 screech. Sorry, you people dug your own uh, grave. Now you're going to be resting in it, in a political sense, of course. And artifacts of Mars. <laughs> ah, this is getting good. Thank you, and have a nice day.